are calling it the best show on the Las Vegas Strip. They descended onto the Las Vegas Strip one year ago and joining us now are Amanda and I's boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, we trapped them. We got them in the studio. They can't go anywhere. We can't no, get out. We They're can't get out. Doors. We locked them to the chairs. Okay, Travis Clore, who of course plays Frankie Valley, and Eric Bergen, who plays songwriter Bob Gaudio for the major, major hit Jersey Boys. They are here with us this morning. We've been trying to get them on, and we finally did. And we are celebrating one year. Are you today. guys today? Today is the third. first anniversary. Are you guys totally worn out after a year? Uh, not yet. I'm, I've only officially been here since September, so I'm not as worn out as he is. Okay, now Travis, I want to ask you, because you came here from New York. I did. Now, were you surprised at how well uh, Jersey Boys uh, was accepted here in Vegas? Can you talk to me about that? No, I, I had no doubt that it would do well out here. A, the story, you know, lends itself to, to success out here. And it's just a great show. I mean, all, all the success that we had in New York and hearing how the productions did across the country, I had no doubt that it would be a hit out here. All right, so Eric, what's the best part of, of, of uh, playing in this uh, production? I think I think we're, we're part of all the entertainment on the strip, and uh, there's so many choices to go see. And I think when people come to Jersey Boys, they are they expect one thing or they don't expect anything. Um, what they get is is something completely different. And I think you've heard that a lot. A lot of people say they didn't know the story of Frankie mm -hmm. Valley in the Four Seasons. We ran into that all the time. People, when we leave the theater at night, they say, I didn't know they had all these songs. I didn't know, I knew all the songs. I didn't know it was them. Um, a lot of men come to this show and end up coming back again, walking right back to the box office and buying tickets. It's just a show that it, connecting with a crowd that normally didn't come to the theater. And so it's just become this massive, massive hit. Oh, it has. And Travis, when, uh, I've heard, I found some woman the other day. She came up to me and she's like, I've seen Jersey Boys like 58 times. I thought, whoa, okay. Oh, we have, one, we yeah. have someone who's come more than that. We have a few people yeah. who come more than that. Okay, so she's got, she's got some competition. It's crazy. Are you just shocked at these fans? I mean, they're like groupies, but they love it. They, they are groupies, but they're, uh, they're giving us a paycheck so they can keep coming back as many times <laughs> as they'd like. Absolutely. <laughs> now, uh, Eric, I um, interviewed you last year when the show opened mm -hmm. and we talked about some, uh, I would imagine doing a live show every night is fun. Not only are you just hanging out with your three friends every single night, yeah. but it's new yep. every night. Is there anything crazy that happens? Have you guys messed up? Up, fallen, done something stupid, <laughs> missed a line. You're asking me, How much time I'm, do we have here? I mean, really, I'm, I'm the worst at this <laughs> stuff. Yeah, no, I felt bad. I felt bad twice. I've taken, I've taken spills on, on, on stage, and one time I was carried out in a stretcher. We've. Uh, okay, now that wasn't funny, but have you? Guys no, 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 it was hilarious. <laughs> okay. It was hilarious. So I, I mean, laugh. I was in pain, but it was totally hilarious. That's right. um, yeah, there have been tons of things. I mean, people walking on stage without, you know, props for a phone, and the phone's ringing, and you don't. Well, there's no phone, so, well, uh, hello? You know, there's those type of things. Uh, I believe you skipped an entire scene the other night. I did skip quite you a did. few bits of the scene. Yeah. What's a scene or two? Big deal. How many well, scenes are in that What are you going to do? I mean, it gets people in the casino quicker. A year in, you know, we have to be moving faster. You know, it's Frankie's birthday today. Is it? Today's Frankie's 75th birthday. Oh, maybe that's why they... Yeah, Frankie. On, uh, <laughs> that we should remember. Happy birthday, Frankie. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. Happy 75th birthday. Happy I just birthday. remember that. Um, hey, guys, really quick. Of course, you guys are down the Las Vegas Strip, and as you well know, a major dark cloud with the loss of Danny Gans mm. this uh, past weekend. Uh, thoughts on that? Um, none of us knew, knew Danny. I saw his show back in uh, back a few months ago, mm -hmm. just as it was finishing up at the Mirage. And uh, what I remember the most is that crowd went insane. Mm -hmm. They loved him. And what I'll always remember is that to do that every night, the amount of work that goes into what he did um, also requires a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. And you, that was so visible from the stage. I mean, that was intensely visible from the stage. Um, and, and, and the audience went wild for it. And I think I, 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 I try to bring that, we all try to bring that on mm -hmm. stage every night. Um, but definitely the other night we thought about it a lot. Well, we yeah. will be uh, looking for you to keep the uh, entertainment alive on the Las Vegas Strip, as I know a lot of entertainers are doing right now. So we appreciate it. And we're going to, I know that you do some interesting exercises with your tongue. And we're going to have you, we're going to have oh you uh, do gosh. that next time. Next time. Because we got to go to break. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs>